Hey, this is our flying forecaster Kevin Wallace with a significant swell update for the West Coast and Hawaii. Over the past 24 hours, we've been watching a good looking low develop off of Japan. That low is starting to mature as we can see here on the satellite image, particularly towards the end of this image. And we're already starting to measure wind speeds of up to 50 to 65 knots, which is hurricane force. The other cool thing to look at as we watch the satellite loop is that kind of that classic comma shape that the storm is starting to take on, as well as the open cell cumulus clouds with popcorn looking clouds, which is a good indication that we are seeing strong wind speeds down near the surface of the ocean. As we watch the storm develop over the next couple of days, um, in particular, the track is going to be important. It's about 1,800 miles from Hawaii, about 2,500 miles away from the west coast at this point, a little bit further than that. So while it's closer to Hawaii, it is taking a better track towards the U.S. west coast. So kind of big give and take there for, for both of those factors. We're going to see solid swell building in Hawaii for the middle part of the week, Wednesday into Thursday. We'll look for that swell to build into the U.S. west coast at the end of the week. Big wave heights within the storm too, with those platinum colors, that's an indication of seas in excess of 45 feet. I actually seen satellite verified seas of about 50 feet so far. So that's an XXL swell for Hawaii, XXL swell for the Northern California, not as big for Southern California with the swell a little bit more to the north too, but strong swell throughout. Long periods with this swell too. Peak energy is gonna be somewhere in the 17 to 22 second period band. So really gonna focus and amplify at those deep water spots. Particularly for Southern California, you might see some other areas that won't pick up that swell nearly as much. A couple of contests we're watching for as well. We've got the Vulcan Pipe Pro that's coming up. Waiting period starts on Thursday. It looks like it's gonna to be too big initially. Could get pretty good as we head into the weekend. Mavericks has potential too on Friday. South wind it looks like right now, not nearly as strong as what we've been seeing of late, but Still some south wind issues. It does look like we'll be watching that over the next couple of days and we'll keep you up to date on, on any possibilities for that event to run. As we head down towards Southern California, it does look like conditions will be better for this swell late this week and into the weekend. High pressure gonna be over the region. So mostly light winds, looks like favorable weather. As we head deeper into the weekend, there is potential for more onshore flow. So stay tuned to surfline.com for more details on that. That's about it for now. Again, stay tuned to Surfline for more details over the next couple of days. We'll see you out in the water.